Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes love showing up in primetime big marquee games. It's almost an interesting kind of quagmire uh, to kind of view it. The Chiefs show up in the biggest games in the biggest ways. That is why they have been the champions. The Patriots did the same exact thing for 20 years. They, there's just the teams that win in the end and then teams that don't. And the Chiefs seemingly are the teams that whenever they need it, whenever they need to win games, they're going to go do it. Last year was the first time they had to go on the road in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Okay, They had home field advantage every other time. They had to go on the road. And they were just talking their shit the entire time. In those massive games, they, tonight's going to be a massive number. Yeah. Tonight is going to be a huge number. So I'm expecting the stars put on the show. And then Lamar Jackson, obviously he's last year's MVP, played his best football. They lose because of a punch out at like a half yard line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that guy's no longer on the team on the Kansas City Chiefs, but nonetheless, they lose on a punch out. They have to be sick to their stomachs with how last season and with how they were playing at the time. And you add Derrick Henry, a couple new people on the offensive line, obviously, for the Baltimore Ravens. How will that fare against a very good Kansas City Chiefs defense? We will dive into it, but the stars are out tonight. And I think in this moment is when they all play their greatest. Yep. Let's go to one half of the hammer. Don Cowboys AP tone. Uh, what are some betting things we should think about? Night one. Week one, yep. big stars playing in the game. Big stars playing in the game, big picture. Uh, Ten of the last 11 Super Bowl champs have been plus 1,200 or shorter uh, to win the Super Bowl at the beginning of the year. These two teams are both plus 1,200 or shorter, so that's awesome when Ty, Ty's talking about week one. The other two teams are the Niners and Lions. We will see them on Monday night and Sunday night, so talking about the primetime games, Let's those go. are awesome. Uh, as far as tonight is concerned, Lamar is a dog, and he is 7-0 and ATS the last three seasons as a dog. ATS. Yes, against the spread means tonight he is a three-point dog, so he covers those three points, whether it's, you know, they lose 24-21, 24-22, whatever. They cover the spread in that situation, not straight up. Uh, speaking of straight up, Andy Reid is 9-2 and two straight up in season openers as the Chiefs head coach. 7-4 uh, and four against the spread as I was speaking there, so they would have to win by more. Three points or more. Three point would be a splush. Three points or more tonight to cover the spread in that situation. Uh, big picture, week one. Last three years, unders are 32 and 16 in week one. The total tonight. A little tight. A little yeah. tight. Mm. Total tonight is 46 and a half. Um, so that's what we're looking at week one tonight and big picture. Okay, I'm excited to see if it is tight, you know, trying to feel each other out, trying to figure each other out. Because remember, the Chiefs last year were a defense run team. We're going to yep. handle situations better than everybody. Patrick Mahomes actually had a press conference said, I had to learn how to be like okay with us just punting the ball, playing defense, and then killing some time, mm -hmm. running the ball. Like I had, to, I had to figure that out. So he just got better last year mm -hmm. in a different way. But they've stocked up on the weapons. Yeah. Are they all going to come out? 100 miles an hour, night one. I think there's a chance. Yeah. And then on the other side, Derrick Henry, Lamar Jackson, mm -hmm. and with Patrick Ricard in the back, is that just going to come out and just win, win, win against a Spagnuolo defense? Let's, let's see, we'll introduce, reintroduce, friend of the program. Man is going to be spending all year with us every single Thursday. Last year, I forget what his betting numbers were on Thursday Night Football, but it was good. Phenomenal. Good. 36 years in coaching, 18 in college, 18 in the NFL. I was lucky enough to call him head coach for the Indianapolis Colts. Baltimore Raven, D.C., though. Oh, yeah. Let's mm -hmm. not forget that as he's talking today. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, Paisano, award-winning Paisano. Coach Chuck Pagan. Yeah. Coach. coach, how you doing, boss? Doing awesome. Hey. So great. To, I mean, you can't even. I couldn't sleep. 2.30, 3 a.m., I'm up. I'm rolling. That's because you're old. Early workout. He's driving up here. He I, said you got an active bladder. He said you're old. That, that's, me. That was tough. Well, that too. Yeah, me too. I, I, got, a lot I, of, I got a lot well, going on. The ears thing, the buzzing. I mean, there's a lot of Yeah, I'm going to that whole show right before we went live. I mean, there's a lot that happened here right before we go live. But nonetheless, Chuck, great to see you, Coach. And first day of... NFL football, I think there's a lot of people that are feeling the way you were feeling. It's like a first day of school for us football students, yeah. uh, kind of feeling in this entire thing. As we view this game, and he talked about the unders being 32 and 16 or whatever it was. Why is that? Do you think because everybody's kind of playing close to the vest, they just want to get through the game? Why do you think these early games, first games of the season can be tight sometimes? A cagey affair, if you will, from the soccer. I stuff. think a couple things. First, starters aren't playing that much, right? I think Coach Belichick pointed that out the other day on the show, right? In preseason? Preseason, 10%. Um, so those guys, they're not playing. Um, you can do it. They're getting a ton of reps. Let's, you know, not be crazy here. They're getting a ton of reps in practice, the joint practice, but they're not playing that much. And I think early on in the season, I think defenses are just ahead of the offenses. And you have a smaller game plan. You're not going to have your whole playbook this first week. It's going to be Game plan specific, you know, Baltimore's been working on offense, defense, but how they're for a long time versus Kansas, they've known, right? And Kansas City, vice versa. So they've, they've spent a lot of time on each other. So I can, I can see that happening. 
tonight. But, I mean, if you go back and look at history with these two teams, the last five meetings, yeah. I know the last one was 17-10. Mm-hmm. So it flew under, right, mm-hmm. 27 points. Yeah. But if you add them all up, they've averaged – 52 points a game. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're saying they've had success against the last, each other. But uh, the dog tail of the tape here for the dogs that are playing tonight in the Chiefs and the Ravens kicking off the NFL season, what do we need to look at and pay attention to here, Chuck, whenever you're looking at who you like, who you don't like? Well, even though Harbaugh, you can see, you know, opening opening week one, he's 12-4, and, and, and I think that is against the spread, so he's been really good. But what him and Lamar haven't been good is against Andy and Pat. Okay, they're 1-4. They're and four. Um, both quarterbacks, five and one in opening week. They're they're both good. You look at Mahomes in those five games, those five open week one openers, twenty touchdowns, one interception. Lamar's twelve to two. Whoa! Hey. All right. So last mm. year the numbers total offense are pretty much the same. Three seventy for the Ravens, three fifty one for the Chiefs, six and ninth respectively. Total defense, you can see where they are. Chiefs were second, Ravens were six. Remember I mentioned? I don't know. We were talking earlier, right? The Ravens last year. This is big. They were number one points allowed, number one in sacks, and number one in, in takeaways. Yep. So that, that's really difficult to do. But Mike Lombardi talked about it. We talked about it ad nauseum. Okay, you lose those three coaches on defense, the signal caller, uh, Weaver and, and Denard Wilson down at Tennessee. They're both coordinators as well. Communication stuff, it may take a minute to get this thing, get this thing rolling. Pat Queen's gone. Clowney's gone. Geno Stone, who had seven, eight mm-hmm. interceptions, mm-hmm. led the league. He he's gone. Jeez. So, and they've got they've you got certainly players make there. Certainly, the case. It sounds like. Yeah. You know what's incredible? As bad as the Chiefs, you know, they had their ups and downs, the drops last year, and they weren't like just. They were minus eleven, which was tied for twenty eighth and turnover. You don't win Super year. Bowls minus eleven. No, yeah. and they won the Super Bowl. And the Baltimore was first at plus twelve. There was nobody better. Special teams, according to Goslin, you you pay attention. to Goslin, Goslin says, right? They're first or twenty first. You think? Uh, first. Okay. Yeah, it was first. That's why I there. missed that, and I missed that. That's totally tail. on me. No, it's okay. No, no, hey, it's that's okay. totally on me. It's I'll first take one that. of the year. Yeah, first exactly. one of the year. But we that's gotta, bullshit. No, it's I, got, I can't miss that. <laughs> we got the first. That. It's okay. It's all right. I can't miss that. Special. Yeah, right. I mean, he is old, so. Doing push-ups. Nah, he's eliminated two. They're first. Yeah, plus twelve is a good number to have. I was about to say. 21st. Who was I was first? Like, who was yeah. first? Yeah. I was reading the graphic. You should have seen this earlier. Obviously, all and all of us. That's, uh, okay. Um, he put it. I missed it. That's on me. So the last one, the rack quotient. Yeah. You know how Mike is always talking about rush attempts and completions yep. and oh, what yeah. that number Total. and how that equates to winning? That was the AFC Championship game, okay? Because of their lack of rushing, the Ravens, yep. they had 36. You're not going to win too many games having a number of 36. The Chiefs, 62. Okay, and that's uh, staying committed to the run, which the Chiefs did all last year. The fact that they were that high on the offense and defense yards that close whenever last year was a very down year for the Chiefs' offense is certainly yeah. maybe a tale of the story this evening. Um, a dog tail, if you will. Chuck, we have about a minute 30 left here before we go off ESPN. Uh, AJ, do you have any questions for him before he makes his pick? No, you got it, Chuck. All right, Chuck. You were 11-4-1 last year on Thursday night picks against the spread. Week one, Ravens, Chiefs, Chiefs favored by three at home. Chiefs of just got sentenced to 17 and a half years in prison. Who do you like tonight? You know, I love Baltimore. Spent four years there. Oh, yeah. Love love Harbaugh. Love oh, that whole organization. No, 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 no. I think I, I think this Zach Orr is going to be a rock star sure. uh-huh. in this league. But oh, no. you got three new offensive linemen. You're going on the road. Right. Communication is going to be an issue. AQ <laughs> just talked about that. You're going up against Andy Reid. You're going up against Pat Mahomes. I am not. Okay, regardless, you can't bet with your heart in this stuff. No, right? absolutely okay? not. No, so, no soul. Ever. I'm, lay, I'm laying the points. I'm taking Kansas City. I'm going to trust Spags. I'm t- trusting Coach Reid, Pat Mahomes. Kelsey was 11, he, 11 targets, 11 catches in the AFC Championship game. He just got and, and a tud. Yeah. yeah. And Kyle like Hamilton is an tonight. absolute weapon. Yeah, okay. He is unbelievable. They're going to play three safety scheme. I'm going Chiefs. All right. Chiefs minus three is the official pick for the man who won 11 4 and 1 last year on Thursday night picks. He likes Chiefs minus three at home on banner night. We can't wait to return tomorrow live on ESPN. I'll be in the big house, I believe. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to re- overreact to everything that happened tonight and then project what's going to happen all weekend as if we know. We don't. You're the best. Be a friend. Tell a friend something nice. It might change their life. 
nailed it. I think well done. Yeah, that was great. Well, well, well done. We got it. Way to go, you. You got a lot in there. Yeah, that'd be tough. You didn't get scared. I told you it was a minute 30. You still put your stats out there instead of just being like, rah, 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 quick. Yeah. I thought you did a good job. That's real TV of you. Real TV. <laughs> Let's go, Chuck. I, I appreciate you. I could feel it. I knew we were getting close. I, don't, I couldn't hear it. No, of course not. But I, I felt it. Chiefs minus three is who he, uh, Chuck has taken. AJ, is that where you were leaning before the show? And after listening to what he just said, does that sway you at all? I was leaning to the Chiefs. Now, Chuck definitely helped me put that over the edge a little bit, but I did want to ask him, I did, but I wanted to give Chuck the full 130 before the hard out. Like, Do you think Spags is going to try to take advantage of those young, new offensive linemen in there and almost bring more pressure than he has in the past? Absolutely, because he, he did it in the AFC Championship game, a, AJ. I mean, 20 times in that one. and they it's had be loud their, as hell, too, they had their, That's yeah, a huge they, deal, right? It's, absolutely. It's going to be – that place is such a great venue, great. and it is so freaking loud. Even when they sucked – yeah, yeah. They got people robbing banks to go watch. Like that's part of their fan base. Like their fan base is the real deal. Oh yeah, and they understand. They get it. Smart. That's fans. his DNA. That's who he is. That's who he's always been. So yeah, he's he's not going to back off of that. And I'm not saying Baltimore is, and I'm just saying tonight's game is in Kansas City. It's a banner night. The energy is obviously going to be palpable. It's going to be through the roof. And they are a smart fan. They know when. They know how. They know why they're mm-hmm. making noise. It's like. That's a real home field advantage, especially whenever Patrick Mahomes starts doing his bullshit. Yeah. Whenever he starts rolling, yeah. whenever he gets going, and Travis Kelsey, whatever the hell he's going to do. And then if Stone Cold Chris Jones Why? has one of those blow up tackles that he just had right there, I mean, that place would be a buzzsaw. That place would be a buzzsaw tonight. So, Spags, when you guys had him on last year and he talked about his chess pieces and the football IQ of that defense, yeah. that's why he can do so much. Those guys are, are really good athletes, they're talented football players, they got great instincts, but they got big brains. They're very, very smart, and they can play. They got flexibility. They can, they can do each other's job. He can move those guys around. It, it was always, you know, complex you, simple me. So what he's doing is really simple for his guys, but for the offense and three new offensive linemen inside, complex as hell. Anyways, let's get away from that. Let's get back to the game tonight. Kansas City Chiefs, Andy Reid runs a tight ship. Harbaugh runs a tight ship. Here we go. Both teams are hoping to win the Super Bowl. Obviously, Chiefs would win three straight if they were able to do it. First time in the history of the NFL. The Ravens looking for a Super Bowl since Ray Lewis and the boys were able to accomplish it almost a decade ago. How do you feel? Who do you feel? And what do you think happens tonight, AJ? Well, with all that being said, I uh, I was leaning Chiefs before I heard Chuck, you know, go into his whole situation and laid it out beautifully. I like that that second play. I believe he showed what zero blitz. I saw Tranquil pick up uh, Mark Andrews up the seam, run a little stick right at the uh, the first down marker. Like if you can do that, and you, know, I, I think Tranquil obviously is. I, I think he is a very undervalued player where people don't give him the props that he deserves. He's awesome. I think the whole defense is really good. Chris Jones, I think he's unblockable. He's one of my favorite players to watch. I love watching them play. So, yeah, I'm going Chiefs minus three. I think Ravens having a couple new offensive linemen, I think they're going to be great. But like AQ said, it may take a little bit of time, and the crowd noise is going to be awesome. Can you imagine, like, when the Ravens have the ball on third down, that place is going to be crazy. Over or under? Uh, I'm going to take the over, actually. I know the under is, uh, uh, you know, trending, I guess. But give me, it's what, 46? Something 46 like that. and a half. Yeah. Give me the over. Okay, so you got the Chiefs in the over of 46 and a half. So does Chuck. Chuck, you like the over or under? Over. Over. Okay. Chuck Ooh. Chuck and AJ mm. seem to feel the same exact ways. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, They're the same building. They got the same views. Holy shit. To start out. this entire season. I saw the toxic tables, Boston Connor shaking his head the entire time. What are you oh. you're a Ravens guy, it feels like. Well, I wasn't shaking my head the entire time. I just I, I don't think we're fully grasping what Lamar and Derrick Henry are gonna look like in the same backfield together. Like, I, I just, it's gonna be so cool with the photos. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, like the fo- and just like the things they can do. Like what if they do just run the read option up and down the field the entire game? Fifty two straight times. But what if they read do, option because that could work with, with Derek like we talked about, you know, last year with who was it? Was it Jalen Hurts against the Niners? Were like it's so that read option so tough because you know you're holding Fred Warner like with Lamar Jackson it, it's it'd be a different animal doing the read option and three three points is a lot of points and look I get they're going for their third Super Bowl but they lost last year on, on opening night against the Lions like there's there's a long season ahead and it feels like if if this game means more to one of these two teams it'd be Baltimore in my mind. Tom Diggs, where's the money at for this particular game? It's on the Ravens. How much? Oh, like, is it an uh, overwhelming amount? I love that. Six, 65. Oh, geez. 65% of the money is on the Ravens yeah. plus three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, AJ is on the Chiefs minus three in the over. Chuck's on the minus three in the over. Give me the Chiefs minus three in the under. Okay. Wow. Okay. okay. A KG match, you think? It might, yeah, I don't know. Let's see if they stumble out of the, like, 
not stumble, but like end of the first quarter if it's three nothing or something. Fuck that! Let's give me see. the over. Hold on. Oh, what am I talking? Well, what's the weather though? Is there weather coming? Is there rain coming? Second half. Maybe. Give me the under. I'll take, I'll yeah, take the Chiefs and the under. Uh, like that. <laughs> I would like to go over though. So this is me just potentially helping you know the universe operate in a different fashion. Yeah, potential thunderstorms coming. I, I don't know if Glenn Powell's going to need to be out there. I don't know what the breeze is going to be like be. in Kansas City, but late thunderstorms. Could bode well for the Ravens, you would think, yeah. with Derrick Henry in this entire thing. Whoa, what a game tonight. All right, so we're all on the Chiefs. That's we're fun. Back. We'll have Baltimore, though. Yeah. Both uh, teams are going to have great seasons. That's that's the bottom line. It's called Phelps. It's, no, he's a big-time Ravens fan. He sent me a text earlier. He got a shout out. Patrick Ricard got me fired up. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Okay. Who's that? Phelps grew up in Baltimore, oh, you know? Yeah. He's Patrick a big Ricard? Ravens fan. He uh, What's that? I thought, uh, Patrick Ricard? Are you kidding me? Patrick Card's fullback, 275 pounder. You no, didn't talk about I said, him at no, all. No, you're talking about Phelps. You didn't yeah. talk about him at all today during any of your breakdown. Uh-uh. We got a rookie here. We got a rookie here. We got a fucking tackle in the backfield playing fullback. I mean, I mean that's yeah, probably what Ravens fans doesn't care about didn't know position. one of those guards was 6'8, 380 either. We met him at Minnesota yeah, when he was a freshman. Freshman, yeah. first before he even played football, right? Mm-hmm. Wasn't yep. he huge? Massive. <laughs> Massive ooze. Just had a couple of juicy Lucy's. Very cool. We did have a few Juicy Lucy's with the, uh, the oh, thing yeah. in the shot. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Minnesota yeah, the was shot. so cold. Can you see Chris Jones getting under his chin? Yeah. yeah he's him. used to that. He's, he knows that's coming. Yeah. He knows that's coming. He's been taught. Linderbaum might also just eat up three, four guys on the D-line himself. Yeah.